Super Bowl was on, but during the halftime show or like breaks, I don't know, quarters, fuck, I don't know, I don't watch enough football, um, <laughs> whatever it is, there was a few trailers that dropped, one being Avengers Endgame, Ooh, a 30 yeah. second TV spot trailer with all new sort of shots and it was very sort of good, look actually. into, it was really good. Yeah. It I liked really it. It was good. it was it was so short and there wasn't I mean there wasn't a whole lot but like it was They really showed good a lot. Though. They showed a I, lot in a small amount of time without <clears> showing <throat> anything. Yeah, I kind of don't want to see any more. I kind of want all the marketing to be like this. I don't want an Infinity War type marketing where they show big scenes and, you know, extended clips and stuff. I kind of like what they've been doing. There's two trailers so far and both of them well, are very they're very te- te- teaser teasery. Well, the Russos um, said they're not really gonna. You're not gonna see much of this movie until it comes good, out. They've good. said that. I don't want to see a lot. I'm liking this so far. I like the mystery. I also like that the the trailer so far have been pretty dark and grounded. Whereas Infinity War was more of like an action action team up movie. This is this is very. It seems like a very personal, like dark like dark for a Marvel movie. Obviously not dark as in like you know just yeah. you know not rogue. Really but... dark like rogue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sorry, rogue. Don't get a fucking head of yourself. Bro. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Just but for a Marvel movie, you know, this seems pretty pretty dark and um, interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. All the characters look great. Um, see, oh, that that fucking shot with Captain America where he uh, he's got a shield and he pulls oh, the strap God. and like he's yeah. it, like his, his hands are shaking as he does it. Like oh. So fucking good. That was yeah. great. Well, let's go through from start to finish, like right. the the shots of the trailer, because the start of the trailer um, is just shot, like establishing shots. They're in New York. We're in New York, uh, mm-hmm. essentially, is where they start us off. And there's just a tonal vibe that is so just like, well, what you'd want from it. And, and it's just like emptiness, um, post-apocalyptic type thing. You know, half of humanity is dead. Mm-hmm. And clearly a lot of times pass. Like, I think a year's passed. Like, if a fear war happened last year, this is a year later happening now sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe not for Tony, though. Like, that's the only thing. Like, it doesn't make sense that Tony's been lost for that long. It's fucking a long time. Whereas, like, yeah, on Earth, they've true. got all these different, like, setups. They've got support groups. Like, after mm-hmm. we start, like, see an empty New York and around the Statue of Liberty, all these boats are, like, parked there, I guess, because maybe... Manhattan's not safe. Yeah. Uh, or it's like a hideout area or something, I don't know, or a medical center, I'm not sure. And then th- once you see New York City, you get like an establishing shot of this poster of like what to do when they're gone, um, like a support group, and you've just got uh, Steve, Captain America there, and he just looks uncomfortable doesn't want to be there talking about emotions he just looks on edge like he wants to fight he wants to do something and he feels like he's you know just sitting there doing nothing Mm. which i i love like that whole just the start of the trailer alone was like yes yes this is exactly what it needs to be just keep it like that looks very captain america focused we see a lot of him in this trailer and in the previous trailer yes clearly i mean although tony is going to be a main character this looks more like a Steve focused movie, which I think is what it should be, because Tony was very fo- central in, in Infinity War, which made more sense because of his connection to Thanos. Um, and so, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing this more grounded Captain America movie where oh, you know, we're going to get to see oh, him at, the, at the forefront, see all his development, and, you know, sort yeah, of come together. Oh, and you know how much, like as much I love Infinity War, my biggest criticism of the whole movie is as a as a Captain America dick rider. Mm-hmm. Is there was fuck all Captain America in it, and it pissed me off because I was like Russos, you may yeah. you're the Captain America guys, and you did this to Steve, and then I'm like, oh, you're giving him the whole movie in Endgame. Good, okay, I'm good, we're good, we're all good. Yeah, I like Infinity War now. Like <laughs> as long as you give me like pretty much like Captain America four, please. That's what I want from Endgame. Like I'm selfish. Fuck yeah. all the other Avengers. I don't care. They can all die. I don't <laughs> they care. They can all die. They can literally all die. But as long as as long as Captain gets his shine for the seven thousandth time, I'll be happy. Yeah. As long as the straight white guy that's really strong and alpha and masculine, then I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> fully serious. But it really does. But it, yeah, but it really does look Steve focused in that. Yeah, it looks, it's looks fucking very awesome. Good. Looks very um, good. Just with him leading, and even this shot at the end of the trailer, the final shot of the trailer is Steve leading the Avengers, like mm. walking in the facility, like in yeah. line of Thor's, but standing behind him. I'm like, yeah, that's right, that's right, Steve. You lead them 
Mm. You fucking you 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 bring them into victory. You save everybody. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Let's. Uh, I've just got the trailer off. I'm just sort of clicking through it. We've got a uh, Tony and Nebula. Um, obviously on the on the ship. I forget what the fucking ship's called. The Guardian ship, I guess. Um, yeah. Looks like it looks very reminiscent of that. Uh, like in the cave from Iron Man yes. One. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Like it looks like he's sitting there working like Iron Man One. That's mm. awesome. There's yeah, a lot of mirroring. Great to the first movies of both for Tony and Steve, because if you think about it, like, well, this is the first time you're really seeing Steve grounded in New York, right? Like, he was, it's sure, mm-hmm. New York was the battle city at the end of Avengers 1, but he's a New Yorker. He grew up there. He hasn't really hung out there. In uh, Winter Soldier, it was Washington, D.C., and in Civil War, they were all over the world. So, mm-hmm. like, um, it's like he's it's grounded... Half the world's gone. He's back living in New York in a fucking support group. Like, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like that it's... We're kind of back to... Basics, I guess? Yeah. yeah. And I like that. I like that a lot. And to see, like you said, that shot with Tony and Nebula is very Iron Man 1 reminiscent. Yeah. yeah, I wonder what they're building. Do you think he's trying to fix the ship or do you think he's trying to build a suit? Maybe a or bit both. of both. Yeah, yeah, maybe both. Um, I think they need to repair the ship, but I, I don't know if that's what they were doing in that shot. But I'm sure that's what they, you know, in multiple shots, I'm sure we'll see them work on the ship, do that sort of shit. Yeah. But I think, I think it might be a suit thing, maybe. Potentially. I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, he's got his suit. Maybe he's trying to repair the suit that he already has with him. Uh, or does yeah, he have no. the whole suit? I mean, yeah, he must do. He must have the whole suit. He was wearing it at the end of Infinity War. Yeah. Like, after Thanos f- fucked it up completely and stabbed him. Uh, so, yeah, I guess, yeah, that could be a thing they're doing, building, uh, fixing the suit, but also fixing the ship, because uh, they got to gotta, gotta get out of there somehow. Um, That's true. So there's that. Uh, there's also, the next shot is of Steve uh, with, there's, let's see, who else is here? There's uh, bloody, forgetting the names, uh, uh, bloody Bruce Banner, uh, Fucking Rody. Rody, that's the one. And uh shit, why am I forgetting all their fucking names? What's her name? Uh Black Widow. Romanov. Uh, yeah, yeah, Romanov, yeah. They're all uh in this field. Um, oh we are we using the superhero names? Okay. <laughs> well I'm Spider Man then. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was good. That was a good reference. Thanks, man. Yeah, that was Thanks. Good. Uh yeah, and people have been saying in this scene there looks like a massive gap between between uh Banner and uh Rody that might fit someone else they've edited out of the trailer. What do you think? about that i agree with you you think they have I, who, yeah, who do you yeah, think they've I, edited I, out um i'm not sure i'm not sure i i don't know because i think they're looking at a ship that either i think they're looking at the guardian ship landing so it's not tony or nebula or, or mm. captain marvel and they wouldn't edit out someone like like rocket or whatever if they were there because or yeah or thor we know they're or there, so yeah, I don't know. The people have been saying it. Uh, I mean, there's an obvious one of like it could be Captain Marvel, which I don't think. I don't think I Captain don't Marvel's think. here at this. I think point. Ca- um, I think Captain Marvel saves Tony and and Nebula. Possibly. That's how I think she's. Yeah, that's how I think she's interested. Though. Maybe that's too obvious, but that's. Um, that, that and people have also been sense. saying it could be Hulk. Like Hulk are separated from uh, Banner, and they're two separate people, and Hulk is there. Uh, I don't know about that one either, but uh, yeah, that's dumb. No, not that. But that's yeah. cool. Definitely I mean, not that. But yeah. I mean, it's it's possible, but I don't think that. Where's the I, body? I think... Where's he? Uh, you've been playing Kingdom Hearts three. What the fuck? We know you, you can't mean? just make a body. It's not just gonna appear from yeah, his heart. But... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But... You need a vessel. Where's the oh, vessel? Yeah. Well, well, you know the rules work differently. Who knows? They'll get the know. guy it's that possible. played Incredible because... Hulk in 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 that movie. He'll come uh, back and he's like, oh, oh. Hulk and Bruce is like, oh, thank God. And then he doesn't Ed, have to Edward Hulk. Norton, yeah. Yeah, Look Edward Norton. Come back. Yeah, that's oh, who it yeah. is. I think it's Edward Norton. Yeah, I think Edward Norton is there. <laughs> They're going to tie them all together. They're going to pull a Kingdom Hearts 3 and be like, oh, actually, this movie you didn't think was important is important because Edward Norton has always been in the MCU. It's just a different yeah. Hulk. Yeah, there's multiple Hulks. Yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah, and then it all adds up. And then, oh, that's why Bruce Banner was confused when Tony referenced the events of the Incredible Hulk is because Banner, this Bruce Banner wasn't part of that. Or oh, it's all different universes. They're all colliding. 
no, that's not happening. But uh, yeah. uh, potentially there could, there, there could be someone in, in that spot. But also, I think that there's also potential for nobody to be there as well because you've got uh, between... Uh, th- there's the same distance between Black Widow as there is to Banner as there is to Rhodey. The only reason it looks like there's less on the other side is because Steve is standing in the forefront of the shot. So he's sort of blocking part of the background. But Yeah. That so maybe there's, maybe there's nobody else there. Um, but maybe there is. I don't know. There's potential for all of these things to come true. 